Once you have done a search in PubMed, you'll want to find out if you can access the full text of the articles you have found. In order to do this, you can use the Pen Text button. In the default results display, the Pen Text button does not appear. If you click on the title of a specific article, you'll find the Pen Text button on the top right hand side of the page. If you want to see the Pen Text button for all the articles retrieved from your search, you will need to change the display settings. Click on the arrow next to Summary, then click on the Radio button next to Abstract. Now, in addition to seeing the abstract for each article in your search results, the Pen Text button appears at the bottom of each citation. If we look at this citation, you'll see that in addition to a pen text button, there is a link directly to the publisher's website. It's tempting to use that link to get to the article, but the vendor website might ask you to pay to access the article. To access the text to the articles the library subscribes to, it is best to first try the pen text button. If the link fails for some reason, you can always go back and try the vendor link. If I click on the pen text button for this article, I am taken to the pen text page. Look for View Online to see if the article is electronically available. I see that the article should be available through two separate subscription selections. I normally try the first link, and if it fails for some reason, then I try the others. Let's click the first link. In this example, we are taken to the first article. If you are planning to print this article, it might help to download it in the form of a PDF. Let's go back to my PubMed search results and look at another article. If I click on the pen text button for this article, you can see that the article has no view online options. Instead, I see get it. Unfortunately, the Get It options that allow you to request the article are not available until you log into your Franklin account. Click on the yellow bar in the middle of the page asking you to sign in. Log in using your pen key. If the article cannot be accessed online, the next step is to check Franklin to see if we have a print copy in the library. We can see here that we do in fact have a print copy available at the dental library. Click on the scan and deliver option and fill out the form. Since you are already logged in, the form will automatically be filled out with the article information. The default setting is web delivery. You will receive a PDF of the article via email. I am going back to my PubMed search one last time. This article is not available online, and Franklin can't find any results for this journal, which means we don't have a print copy in our libraries either. The second option here is to request the article via interlibrary loan. When you click on this link, you will be asked to log in with your pen key. 
Once you log in, the form will be automatically filled out with the article information. The default setting is web delivery, which means when the article you requested is available, you will get an email instructing you how to view it online and print it out on your own. Click on the Submit Request button and you will receive an email as soon as the article is available. The Pentext screen and its many options can be confusing. If you have any trouble understanding the page, please call the library or come in and a staff member will assist you. This concludes the Pentext tutorial.